Alrighty, new version here. Let's play this. I'll tell you, boys, life is crazy. One day you're in community college, driving a Camaro T-top, cock of the walk, and then you need some cash, so you get a job. You think it's only temporary, but then you get a promotion, and then a raise, and all these doors open up for you, except they're not really doors. They're trap doors. And then all of a sudden, bam! 20 years has zipped by, and you're thinking, is this all I have to my life? Not you kids, I love you kids, but come on, the house, it's crap! All right, nice. Life is crazy. One day you're in a community conference. I'll tell you about it. Cool. I'll tell you, boys. I like that you have, that incorporated this here to have that. And I think that works pretty well. The, the initial reaction was that it's almost a bit I wonder if there's too much going on in terms of we having that flip plus that arm out plus him leaning over and looking away if that makes sense versus keeping it where he's like this and i would i would start with this up like this and the sausage like that just for a clean silhouette it's a bit it's a bit muddy there so instead of having all of this just you know it's just this is already an event and i wonder if this is just too much with all of this going on and if you just keep it like this like he looks at this he spins it and you can always have him start looking over this way by around here in terms of when this falls like he's done this before he doesn't have to really completely wait and and see that it's dropping so he can hold on to it like he's that good and then that way you still have time to look over and end up in a pose like this and then do all that i think that will work careful in terms of motion across the cut this is a really big move and then we cut into it it being still and then it continues and not as much so i would make that consistent i would actually have slightly less movement here and then start maybe a bit further to the left with a bit more movement and slowing down into that. It's a nice silhouette though, and I love this here. One day you're in and it works great with the audio. Here for this one. A cock, of the walk. A cock, of the walk. cock in the walk, I'm not quite sure what he says here. But on this, it's, it's such a where I would have a little bit of a head up accent, slightly more energy in the head and maybe through here. Because of what he says. And then throughout, there's some really big moves with the stick that I would reduce a bit. With this, I would probably just go maybe half or two thirds of how far you go. And it's a bit more arky. Just because this is a big move and like a, uh, like a stronger contrast move and more energy. And I'm concerned that this move here and the move with the head they're competing for attention where like suddenly i'm looking here looking here and i'm falling down and i'm kind of missing this and i'm suddenly not looking at his face anymore so i think by reducing this we can keep the focus acting wise on this and then you need some cash so you get a job you think it's only temporary but then i think that's great this is a bit fast but then also in his voice is more like but then and in your energy is but then like it's it's just there's more physical movement that's not reflected in the voice but i think just just timing wise it's also really fast and then that way it doesn't upstage this one so personally i would slow this down a lot i know it's tricky because you're going from here and you got to end up here for clean silhouette but you could have it lower so the stick is maybe you know down here or even here in front of the body as a silhouette so that you can still have a move like this and then a raise and all and then a raise even this here i would slow down by two three frames just that that moment there and all these doors open up for you except they're not really doors that's really great and i love this too how especially the contrast of <gasps> this and then we almost miss the change it's almost like a wipe really that reveals this re uh, emotion kind of like that but the thing is, I like this a lot. It's almost a 
bummer in terms of how low he is and how far and how much extra space we have. Where I wonder, trapdoors, if it's something that can be... Or maybe you stage the camera so that he is just a bit... Like the head is here, body over here. Sorry, I don't have... It's a different setup. I have my mouse instead of my pen. Not that my scribbles are better with the pen, but it's a bit messy. But something where it's maybe a bit cleaner in terms of not being so... Screen right, low, heavy. You know what I mean? Like we're 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 here. We're so much extra space. Or you might have to get them just a bit lower. But it could also be a later camera fix potentially. Although, although I wouldn't really tilt down too much. But my main point was that I like this a lot as a contrast, and this is why I would slow down moments like this because it's almost the same amount of energy. as here and and i think this is a great contrast moment that i would not upstage with previous movements that are almost as big this is again fast a they move two at the same time to me at least we're slightly back into a w pose but they both move at the same time and they're really fast i would add four more frames four or five frames to this because then you have this again and this is your big contrast moment so i would not upstage this with a big move like this. You know what I mean? You, t you take the intensity away with so much movement here from this. This is okay. Sudden bam. Sudden bam. I think it's late. The cut the cut is late. It'll probably cut around here. Yeah, it feels a bit late. It should be okay in terms of what you're doing. It's more than 30% change. It's a fairly drastic punch in, but I think I think it would just work if you just go and cut sooner around here. Careful animation wise, watch out. It's I didn't notice before, but now that I'm framing through, you can see how spacing wise this just blocks after this. And then we have like a pivot off of this top section here. And then it goes down. So as you continue, you can work on your arcs. Twenty years has zip Twenty years. 20, I would instead of, oh not instead of, but on top of left right, I would add a bit more up down. Because 20 is pretty strong energy wise. 20 years, like 10. So I would have a bit of a stronger move on 20. This is okay. I like this for sure how he's by here. And then he sees this. That's very organic in terms of. The eye line and everything. What I would not do is this this last tilt down is a it's, it's almost a linear key, it's pretty strong. And you have what one, two, three, four. You don't want to, it's three frames. You don't want to introduce anything drastic within the last six to seven frames. So I would actually just have him go down, and even then you can even cut some stuff out. To me, I would go here and cut. You just indicate a low movement, and then we cut into this, and it would totally match. It's totally fine. And also reduce the the tilt down on this. I mean, like just a couple frames, because we won't have it here anyway. So I will keep it here. They will basically cut out around here, leave that camera move, cut the rest, and then cut into this without tilt down. And then watch out, he stops definitely abruptly here. Everything is a bit linear, bam, on that stop. And the camera as well. So once you splend that out and smooth that out a bit more. I'm not sure you need this. It's almost like an accent in the camera to emphasize what he's saying. And it seems a bit odd. I was, me personally, I would take out that last tilt up here. Well, that's kind of that. I mean, it's definitely super promising. I love all the facial animation on him. It's it's nicely pushed, especially once we are in this range at the end. I love stuff like that. That's great. So I'm really not worried about your animation skills. I think this is mainly making sure the energy levels are consistent and we're not trampling on some specific moments and kind of reworking some camera stuff and some pose stuff. But yeah, it's very cool. I like it. And that's it for me. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.